Yo, what is up guys, it's Kyves here and I'm bringing you a League of Legends tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make your FPS go much higher in League of Legends. So just before I start, I'm going to say that not all of these things I thought of myself. Um, but I've seen this on like a variety of different vid videos and I've got some ideas myself. So I'm putting this all into one video and making it the boosting FPS boosting guide. So here's a list of the things I'm going to be going through. So if you know about these, then just skip this video and just look at something else because it won't help you because these are the things I'm going to be going through. So if you don't know about these, then just carry on watching. Now the first thing on the list is Razer Game Booster. Now uh, Razer Game Booster is a free program that basically um, boosts your games, like just how it says in the name. So basically once you install it, you'll be in an application like this and before you go into your League of Legends match when you run your client like before you open it like this client before you open League of Legends you want to go into Razer Game Booster and click on your game over here and then open it from here now this will boost your game automatically but sometimes it, it glitches and it doesn't boost your game so you want to go to utilities and you want to go to manual boost and click on boost now now this will basically remove any Pro, uh, any programs that are not needed so yeah it will just free up some RAM and make your FPS go higher now this program made my FPS g go up by about 50 so it's really helpful so um, yeah it just it just frees up some RAM for your game and this doesn't just work on League of Legends it works on any other game such as Far Cry 3 that, which is here like any game and if you want to add other games that aren't League of Legends, you want to click on Add Games here, and then you want to browse to your game, your EXE. Then that will add your game to here, so you can use this as a game launching sort of thing. Now number two, delete extra tasks. Now this basically, that's basically what uh, Razer Game Booster does, but sometimes it forgets to uh, delete some things. So what you want to do is right click on your taskbar and go to Task Manager, or press Control, uh, Control Shift Escape and then you'll be brought to this and it, it will tell you your background processes such as uTorrent, I'm not even using that right now so I can just delete that and it's just freeing up some RAM so what you want to do is just scroll down through some of these and just like click on them and delete them such as this, I don't need it like that and you can also do this to your services and through all of these and users in case you've got more than one user and it's taking up RAM and stuff you can just click on it and delete it so yeah that's the second thing the third thing is um, you want to stay on your task manager but in most tutorials wh once Windows processes come up the uh, people who make the tutorial say there is um, you don't want to change anything in here but they're wrong you could you want to change this thing called Windows Explorer now Windows Explorer basically um, is like the task manager and like what like this thing on the side and all of that but before you go into a match you won't need this because you're going to be into a match you're not really going to be uh, browsing your computer so what, what you want to do before a match is uh, go to Windows Explorer and your task manager and press delete now as you can see all my stuff is gone here but once your match finishes you just want to go back into task manager and go to file run new task and then type in explorer.exe now all your stuff is back again just like normal and your RAM just got removed for just your match so that will really help now the next thing is also in task manager uh, once you start a match there's going to be a process called League of Legends or something like that and what you want to do is go to details and right click on it and hire the priority now this will allocate more RAM to your League of Legends which will basically um, improve your FPS um, Another thing you can do is in League of Legends, you can go to the graphic settings and just lower all the visual things, which will improve your RAM. And another thing, uh, which is number five, you go to your file, your file explorer, I think it's called. Yeah, file explorer. Then right click on your computer and press properties. And then you want to go to advanced system settings. And then you want to go to advanced on here. Then on performance, you want to press settings, and then over here, you want to do adjust for best performance. It, it should be like this, it should be like this, but you want to change it to that. Then press apply and OK. Sorry, my computer is a bit lagging right now. 
Yeah, but you just want to press apply and okay on that. That's not responding. Alright, there we go. Okay, then once you've done that, it will um, make your FPS go even higher. Now, another thing which I saw in a different video is this game.cfg file. Once you download it, you want to copy it and then you want to go to your file explorer, go to the, your C drive, uh, Riot Games, League of Legends, config, and you want to paste it in here like that and replace. Now, this will basically uh, change some of your game settings and the configuration so it will boost your FPS. So another thing, you want to press the Windows key and R, like that, and it will bring up this, run. So basically what you want to do is press perc right percent, app data, percent. And then you will get all these random things in here that you don't need anymore. So you just highlight all of them and press delete. And some things it doesn't work for, so you want to skip all of them. And then there you go, you just freed up some RAM right there. Another thing you can do is reset your computer to factory default and that will basically free up any like uh, random things that you don't even know about like viruses and stuff that are just using RAM for no reason and you could uh, after you've done all these steps you need to restart your computer and yeah all these changes will t uh, be put into place and the last thing you need to upgrade if the, none of these steps work for you, you must need to upgrade your CPU and your graphics card or RAM. So, yeah, those are the steps to boosting your FPS. And, yeah, um, uh, please let me know if this worked for you. And if you have any problems, please put them in the comments below. And please like, comment, subscribe if they did work for you. And I'm Kives and I'm out. Thanks for watching.